You ever just want to quit your job, buy a boat, sail around the world? Well, what if we told you that was possible? I'm Rad. And I'm Sasha. With more willpower than money and a dream to become pirates, we bought a sinking sailboat and spent the next nine months transforming it into one of the sexiest boats on the seven seas. There is nothing that can get in the way of us sailing around the world. So grab your popcorn, hit subscribe, and be prepared for one hell of a story. The story of our lives. This is the journey of Spirit Animal. Well, it's been one hell of a rodeo to get to this point. We finally have the top side painted, and although it seems like one of the bigger projects, it's probably one of the least important. We still got a long list of stuff we gotta get done, and we've already been in the yard twice as long as we planned. We're hoping to have this boat in the water within the next week so we can end our era of couch surfing and start to make the inside of this boat look more like our home. Okay. We just got our decals. You should say that a little more sad. <laughs> I said it, that was my excited voice. We just, got, we just got our decals. I am so beyond happy with our decals. These things are so sexy and made of the best 3M material possible and they came out super clear. They're not pixelated at all. Oh wow, look at how clear that is. And that's the exact color of the boat right there. Yeah. We matched that up pretty well. Yeah, you can see it on uh, my arm or in her hair. You can or see on it all face. over me. I decided to dip dye the tips of my hair in it. So, very excited. <laughs> this is gonna look so good. <laughs> was that excited? That was so good. Thank you. <laughs> that was real excited. That wasn't fake. That was real. Look at that beautiful color. Ooh, That's sharp. The next day, we were very eager to take off this tape so we could admire all of our hard work. We were beyond happy at how this paint job turned out. What we really wanted to do was grab some lawn chairs, a couple cocktails, sit and stare at the side of the boat. But the daily boatyard fee made it impossible to relax. So our only option was to kick it into turbo mode and finish the rest of the projects as fast as possible. Starting with the keel. The problem that we had here was there was no more sealant here in the front. For the most part, when the boat was lifted, it didn't look like there was any separation. So we think those keel bolts are nice and strong inside. Best case scenario, we just put some fresh 5200 in there and we're all done. Time to slap on some bottom paint. So, time to get this multi-tool into action. We've already done this side. So, you can see there's a nice, clean, space that we will squeeze 5200 into and seal that back up. And now we are pulling our tape while it's still wet and that leaves you with a clean oh, Look at that. Okay, we've got a little gap in between the keel and the hull of the boat. And we've talked to some surveyors and they said it's pretty typical for boats to have that. So just to check the keel bolts, make sure they're tight now that the weight of the boat is sitting on the keel and um, put 5200 in there and it should be fine. Okay, we do have some play. Twisting. Yeah, that one's got that one seems pretty loose. decent amount of play. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. All right. Mm -hmm. ah, 
that one's tight. Uh, that one barely turned. Uh. Tight. Keel bolts are pretty tight. A couple of them turned, maybe an eighth of a turn, and one turned about half a turn. Other than that, I think they all felt solid. They all looked pretty good. The next project was installing our brand new underwater Lumatech lights. I had these on my last boat and after owning them once, it's tough to go without them. They're excellent for night fishing and also lighting up the water when you're coming into a random anchorage at night, which helps you avoid coral heads. And that's the exact reason why we want to install 10 underwater lights around this boat. There will be two bigger ones in the back called the Sea Blaze Quattros. These only draw 2.1 amps at 12 volts. We got the dual color version which put out 2000 lumens of white or blue light. There will be eight more smaller lights evenly spaced around the rest of the hull and these are called the Sea Blaze Minis. These draw less than an amp at 12 volts and put off 700 lumens of light. We'll put the front eight on a separate switch so we can choose to have either the transom lit up or the entire boat. Now let's install them. To install, it's very easy to do. We've already got our area marked out where we're gonna drill. We drilled a pilot hole with a quarter inch drill bit and then we went right behind it with a half inch drill bit which is what you need for the lights to fit. Okay so if we were to have taken a random guess at drilling a hole from the outside you can see that I'm sitting on our gas tank right here and we had planned on putting it about right here. Since we came in the inside and looked we aren't clear here so we are going to move it out about eight inches to a foot. As you can see, it's really important to measure and check your holes before you drill them from the outside so you don't hit anything. You also want to have access so you can wire the lights up and you want to make sure all the lights are at least six inches under your water line. Next, it's time to pre-drill the mounting holes. They give you a template, but I use the light because the light never lies. I take the drill bit, line it up in the center of the hole and just make a mark. Then I remove the light and finish drilling the hole because sometimes the drill bit will jump after you push all the way through and I don't want it to scratch the light. Then you take some 4200, put it on the back of the light as well as in the holes and screw it on. There you have it. Good looking light. Great light. We've decided to paint over the housing just so we avoid any potential growth while we're out in the water, but we don't want to get any paint on the light. So we're going around and putting painter's tape over the light part. Okay. And then we go around with a razor blade on the inside edge and have a nice clean cut. Bingo. Clean. That's how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had a little too much caffeine this morning. The main reason why we're painting our lights is because of galvanic corrosion. This occurs when two dissimilar metals are immersed in a conductive solution, such as water. Basically, the eight smaller lights we put around the boat have an aluminum housing, and our bottom paint has a lot of copper in it, so we don't want the two to touch. This is why we're going to paint the lights with an aluminum safe paint and also paint a halo around it. Then once we apply our bottom paint, will stay at least an inch away from the lights. Now the two big lights on the back have a bronze housing, and since bronze is made up of mostly copper, there probably wouldn't be much reaction going on. But we're gonna paint them just in case. Cleaning up the prop. All right, one of the guys at the boat yard was kind enough to give us a quart of his leftover prop coat. We're gonna put it on our prop and also our underwater lights. This prop is actually pretty pink and what that tells you is that electrolysis has got to it, which means it's gonna be kind of brittle. So if we were to hit something, it's more likely to crack than a prop that's in good shape. We had this inspected by a prop shop. It's in perfect condition as far as the balance. So we're gonna use it as a backup Right now we have a uh, spare prop on the way. We're getting a folding prop to increase speed. Okay, we can't move anywhere without the rudder, so this was the next project. Back in the old days, before I knew the difference between a keel and a rudder. Look at that sexy beast of a keel. We found out that we need new rudder bearings. 
That means I need new rudder bearings. We also found out that it was filled with water, so we drilled a bunch of holes in it and sat it in the sun for the last three weeks. We know this isn't a permanent fix, but it's gonna have to do for now. Okay, here's our rudder bearing. So you have to glue this inside the rudder shaft and make sure that it's at the exact diameter. Now in most cases, I would think this involves a light sand to the housing and then you epoxy the bearing right in place. But nothing's ever easy on Spirit Animal. You can see ours has a nice chunk out of it and I could see behind there that there was delamination in the fiberglass. So we decided to rip it out. And now I have to rebuild this back up with fiberglass and make this a nice smooth circle. So we mixed up some epoxy resin, wet out six layers of fiberglass, and started building up the housing. We made it thicker than the actual bearing, so we're gonna have to go back and sand it to the right circumference of the bearing. Then we taped it up to prevent it from sagging and moved on to the next project. Okay, we have the area cleaned up. We're by an airport and these uh, planes don't give a shit who you are. All right, we got the top side painted. We got it all taped off and cleaned and we are Ready to paint the bottom. Yeah. Almost there. We're going blue on blue. Cause uh, blue's pimp. And uh, we don't really care what y'all think cause it's gonna look pimp. <laughs> right? Right. So the decals are gonna have to wait for maybe a month or at least three weeks. I want this paint to really dry before I slap a huge emblem on the side. But it's time, let's get going. Go. I got it all ready right here, so. Okay, you want to have a one inch circle around your uh, underwater lights. I'm busy. These underwater lights, you want about one inch. On these underwater lights, you want about a one inch perimeter. Hold on. You don't want this. Restart. All right, you want to have a one inch circle around your underwater lights because you don't want this copper, a blade of paint mixing with this bronze or aluminum housing and creating more electrolysis. It'll eat it up. Perfect. It felt so good to finally see bottom paint go on this boat. We wanted this first coat to be an indicator coat, so we went with a dark blue. The next three coats, we chose a paint that looked similar to the top side. We thought it might look kind of cool fading from the top side straight down into the bottom. And now we'll know when our paint's getting low because the dark blue paint will start to show through. Overall, we did three coats total of soft ablative paint. I have it all over my face. My glasses blocked it all, you're good. Thank no, God. Good. You yeah. have it on your tooth! Where? No, it's probably like <laughs> squinting because it burns my eyes. But look at that. That is sexy. Who's sexier though? Me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's up for it. That'd be a long, that's a tough debate. Excuse me. Look at that thing though. That is a look at nice that. Look at that keel. Looking both. Look at that keel. That's a pretty good keel. But that's also a pretty good deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh boy, Rob. Are you ready for the sexiness? The unreeling. Unveiling. 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 Of the bottom to top paint transition. We have no bootstripe and we made it look clean.
I do like it. I like it a lot. That's, that's bad. You did a really good job. Or we did a really great job, but you did a great job with planning it out. Yeah. So a few weeks back, Sasha threw out our old mattresses. And I didn't know it at the time, but this was the missing piece to my master plan. Out with the old! <laughs> what was that? Oh, you gonna make another one? Yeah. All right. Better than that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's a project for me? <laughs> Luckily, I kept a scrap piece of foam because it was now time to put this master plan into action. What are you thinking, making? Thinking of a master plan. And what is this master plan? Surprise. Darn it. <laughs> Can anyone guess? Mr. Art Artist over here. I think they can. Some of you might guess. But some of you are probably like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Guess you'll have to keep watching to find out.